students this is 9th standard science class and the chapter what we are dealing is motion chapter i am ashoda talking to you all children just to revise what we did in the previous class we learned about the uniform motion and the non uniform motion and with a very simple activity uh, which is given in the tabular uh, uh, 8.1 we just studied we just understood uh, what actually meaning uh, means distance traveled and uh, the intervals taken what is the distance and all these things children and today we are trying to know what is this measuring the rate of motion that means at what time how much of distance is been covered by the object or what is the factor that depends or that matters for the change of place of the particular object children now let us uh, try to know the rate of measuring of motion children now for example if you have a vehicle let us call it as a vehicle this is one vehicle this is another vehicle children covers some certain uh, distance and this also covers the same distance maybe of 20 km and this is also of 20 km but the vehicle a takes maybe th uh, 15 minutes to cover this distance and vehicle b may cover within 10 minutes that means the distance covered is same children but the time taken is different now if we have to know the motion means change of place of this object and this object we don't have one common criteria we cannot say this is slow and this is fast so we have to have one standard factor to decide the change of place of these objects what we call it as motion so let us take the distance traveled and the time taken that means if we have to know the rate of motion distance traveled by an object with the time taken so let us consider this as speed so how, this may be slow this may be faster or it can be vice versa so we call that as speed an object covers certain certain distance at what period at what time it covers we call it as let us call it as speed so let's consider this speed as one of the physical act uh, quantity so this is one concept that we have to know whenever we are talking about motion of the object if we have to specify the speed of an object we have to have certain units so let's call it as si unit international standards unit we say so which has been uniformly used for majority of the quantities whenever we talk about movement motion of the objects and all this so si unit of speed can be seconds it is the time children but we are also taking distance traveled in consideration that means meter meter per second it can be meter per second or it can be centimeter second to the power of minus one it can be kilometer per hour to the power of minus one or it can be meter per second as it is written here children so all these can be uh, the units that means s a unit to represent the speed if we have to represent speed we need to have only the magnitude magnitude so we need to have magnitude children magnitude is nothing but the numerical representation of particular quantity children now children let us try to derive one simple equation with the concepts what we learnt now if we have to know the speed of an object 
we are concentrating on distance travelled and time taken let us call this time taken as small t let us represent time taken by an object as in, in small t and let this distance travelled be s and the speed let it be small v now we want to know the speed of an object so what we have to do distance travelled by time taken so s by t so this is a simple and a very important equation children that we need to be knowing whenever we are solving some sums related to uh, this type of uh, concepts v is the speed s is the distance traveled and t is the time taken v is equals to s by t is one important derivation children children let us uh, try to know uh, one more uh, part of the speed children now you must have seen uh, nowadays ipl matches are going on majority of you will be watching the matches and whenever you ma watch these matches children there will be always one line or one sentence given there average speed of a bowler is so and so so and so children here you can see some numbers are given that means in one over we will have we will have six balls to be thrown by the bowler and all those speed so this is the position of the bowler and he has to uh, throw the ball to this distance so uh, in the first over his main his speed is 140 and in the second over it is 143 and in the third over is 135 likewise it goes on now we, we have to say what is the speed of the ball on the whole that is been put forth by this bowler it, it is not the same distance or it is not the same speed uh, maintained by this bowler. He is having different speeds at different uh, bowling. Then comes something called average speed children. So what we have, what we will do? Add up all these numbers. Take the average, take the addition, uh, just add all the six uh, ratings whatever we have here and then divide it by time taken that means total distance traveled and the time taken children that will give us average speed so you can see two derivations also children here one is the average speed and the other one is to find the speed of an object so average speed is the total distance traveled and total time taken so each if you have four vehicles at what time four vehicles reach the final point and what is the distance covered by them total them and then go for the division part divide them and then we will get the average speed maintained by one particular uh, object later this is another de derivation just now I told you uh, wherein if we have to know the speed of an object, distance travelled by the time taken. Let us see some more part of the lesson children in the coming video classes. Thank you.